Hello everyone, today I'd like to talk about uh, how to create a glass button in WPF. Uh, I got a blank application here. Um, and I got a little cheat sheet over here for myself, so in case I forget something, it's right there. Um, first thing I'd like to do is bring in a label. The purpose of this label is just to show us whether we achieve the transparency of a glass or not. Okay, put right down in the middle. Make it large, go across. Increase the font size. And change the text. Okay, change the color a little bit. Mm, let's go at change the foreground to a gray, grayish. All right. Now let's tr get drag a button out. Increase the size. Let's change the text and uh, increase the font size so we can read it and go with bold. All right. Um, let's make it red. Uh, this background. Let's change this back to gray and let's change the foreground to red. Okay. So this is our basic button. Let's run and take a look at it. So the only thing we changed is really the font color. Other than that, everything is pretty much the same, except the size. Uh, that's our regular button. Okay. So there are a couple of ways we can do this. One of them is, let's go back into properties. And Decrease the opacity from 100 to 50. So it gives us a nice transparency. But the only problem with this, it makes everything on the button transparent, including the text. We don't want that. I mean, if you want it, you can use it. So let's go back to 100%. And let's go to our background color here. So what we need to do is change the alpha channel, decrease it from 100 to 50, say. This will uh, make the background transparent versus, versus the, uh, I'm not doing something right. That's the same, oh, oh, I'm still on the foreground, that's why. So. I need to select the background and decrease to 50%. See, the background becomes transparent, but the uh, text doesn't change. We can even go all the way transparent and accomplish what we need to do. Or we can go to a little tint. Twenty-five percent or a greenish tint. You know what I'm saying? But I like to keep it all the way transparent. Um, the other thing I'd like to do is let's, um, let's make this border a little bit. Uh, Border brush, I need the border brush. Okay. I want to give it a little linear appearance. So, it gives a nice effect, you know what I'm saying? If I run this, we still have our button. If 
uh, it's like it's halfway or 75% border, 25% no border. Kind of gives a nice effect to it. If that's something you like to do. All right, let's go ahead and remove the label. We don't need label anymore. Let's click on this and delete it. All right. So in a nutshell, that's our glass button. And um, I hope you learned something new. Enjoy. Thank you.